Hello YouTubers, in this video, I got a potentiometer connected to blue pill, it's connected to SIM module. The SIM module is going to send the potentiometer data direct to the internet via HTTP post. In a computer from anywhere in the world, we can see the data. Let's change the potentiometer and see the value. We need to run for a few minutes. The potentiometer value went to a web server and stored in a database. You can see from anywhere in the world in a web browser using a subdomain. And it, the, you can see the graph is going up and down because I run for a few minutes. And you can select a date and download. If you don't select a date, it will download a current um, Excel file and download it here. And let's see the SIM module and start to build this one. The SIM module is here. We got seven pins. We're going to use only four pins G, R, T and V is here. We can use external power supply from the USB. SIM holder is here. LT antenna connector is here. Also we have 3G antenna connector and the GPS antenna connector is here. The other side is like this. This project involves a few steps. To make it easier for you, I have created a website and uh, I have given the website address in the description below of this video. This one, I already opened it. When you go below, I have given the details about the SIM module and data sheet and where to buy the module. Go below again, I have given five steps to follow. Created a free web server account from here and then do the wiring for STM32 and upload the code from STM32 cube IDE and uh, using the web browser to visualize the data and download the Microsoft Excel file. We do the first step first. Go to this web address, copy it and paste it here and uh, click free sign up. They, they have free account. You can open a free account. It doesn't cost and go below, put your name and email address and a password. You put a valid email address because they will send a confirmation link to confirm it. And then click register now. And go to your email address and click the confirm link. When you click the confirm link, you will get this one. Because I already have created my account, I got this one. Now click hosting tool, click the domain manager, this one. There you can click a free subdomain. You can create a free subdomain. Click create a free subdomain. Click this one. And free subdomain something dot at webpages dot com. I put my name. You can put uh, whatever you like. And click create. created successfully. Write down this one somewhere because you need this one for to upload the data in the cube IDE uh, C, C language code and also you, you, you can use this one to see the data from the web address. Now go to hosting tool again click file manager. There we need to click create free three files. We have done from here, done here. This is my web address. The details are here. Click create three files. So we go there and you double click this one. And uh, click create. First file is, we go here again. Uh, we can close this one. We don't need anymore. First file is insert.php. Copy this file name. Select create file and paste the file name and click create. File is created here. Double click this one. The contents I already given here in my web page. It start here. Insert.php start here until 
ends here. So from here, these are the contents. You can copy this one and uh, paste it here. Click Save. Click Close. Now create again. Use this button to create again. Create file. Next file name is this one done. Now next file index.php. So copy from here index.php and go there. The file name you delete this one and put index.php. Click create. Now double click index.php. The contents I have given in my web address. Contents is from here until it's a long file until here end of index php file copy and paste it here click save click close and now create again create file the file name is excel.php excel.php copy it and delete this one and paste it click create now double click excel.php the contents is here start here so you can click from here excel php end of excel php here so until here copy it now paste it here and click save click close now we have created a subdomain my subdomain is this one you need to write it down somewhere and uh, we have created the file and uh, in index.php everything now we can go to next step next stop is do the wiring connection the wiring connection is like this we have potentiometer one side connected to ground other side connected to 3.3 volt middle pin connected to b1 now for the sim module it's like this ground connected to ground v connected to 5 volt you can give separate power from this usb but uh, for simple project you can supply from here and uh, R connected to A9, T connected to A10. It's very simple. The wiring connection is like this. The potentiometer is here, and the SIM module wiring is here. Now we can open the Cube IDE and do the programming. I have opened the Cube IDE. If anybody doesn't know how to install Cube IDE, I have made a separate video, it's available here. We can continue, click System Core, click Sys. For the debug, select Serial Wire. Click Analog, click ADC1, go below, IN9, tick. Now we make this one bigger. Configuration parameter setting make sure continuous conversion mode it's enabled. Now we click connectivity, click use at one for more for the mode select asynchronous. Configuration parameter setting the board rate should be 115200. That's the same one here. If it is different, change it to 115200. That's all the setting. We can click save. Now we can go to web address, the, this one, my web page. Go below. The diag picture is here. And the cube ID setting is here. We've already done this one. The code is here. User code begin includes sorry too much user code begin includes 
we need to copy and paste these two lines. Copy it. Go to cube IDE. Include this here. We paste it. And user code begin zero. We copy and paste. And from here until it's a long code. Lots of code. Go below again. Again. N0 is here. Copy until here. And then we paste it in user code begin 0. That's here. We paste it. And then user code begin 2. We copy and paste this one. Here. We paste it. Finally, in the while loop, we copy and paste this four line. I'll ADC until HTTP post. Copy it and then paste it in the same place that is here. And we can, uh, before clicking save, uh, we need to do two changes. See here two changes. In the APN, I have put my SIM provider APN. You need to put your SIM provider APN. We can find out from this web address. This is one of them. I have already opened it here. For example, if it is Australia, if it is Telstra, that's the APN. Like that, you find out your one and you change it for this one. That's actually in the code. Sorry. Uh, user code begin zero in the very beginning. Yeah, user code begin zero very beginning. This is the one you need to change the APN. Put your provider APN and also the second change is for the server. I put my subdomain server. You remember the one you created? You put your subdomain, and uh, the code works like this. This is the tra tra transmit uh, function and uh, HTTP post is here. It has uh, four variables and then it checks one by one. First one it checks for the um, for the AT whether it's get OK. If it is getting OK, next if it is getting OK, next it checks for the registration, whether it's registered the network. If it is gets registered, it goes to next, next step. And it checks for net open, whether it gets the IP address. If it is OK, it checks for the uh, TCP connection. If everything goes OK, it posts the data. It's, it, send at command one by one like this until here until here and then it close and in the user code begin to start the ADC and in the while loop it pull for conversion and get the read value it's a distance and then it post the distance to the server HTTP post is here now we can click save and we can click the run button now when we get this one we, we can straight away click ok to press the code but sometimes if it doesn't work you click debugger and select open ocd and then show generate option click this one go below and for the reset mode software system reset and you can click apply and click OK it will work now all good the code is uploaded I have uploaded the code let's try one more time change the potentiometer up and down I'm going to run this for few minutes 
open a web browser and in here type the subdomain you created. I created this one, this armoid in eight web pages. You type your one and enter. And uh, because I run for a few minutes, I got the data here. It's, the graph is going up and down. And you can click the select the date from here. And if you don't select any date, that will select the current date. You can click download for Excel. And it's Excel file, file is downloaded. You can open it. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.